Hey guys, what is going on? This is WrestleMania back with another episode. The news never stops and neither does WrestleMania. Join us now as WrestleMania looks at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including major fallout from the Survivor Series, including rumors that Brock Lesnar is no longer suspended, why The Rock didn't show up, the return of Mr. McMahon, Vince's apology to Zelina Vega, and more. Survivor Series Fallout Topping the news are several stories concerning last night's Survivor Series. Let's start with a big question fans were asking after the pay-per-view promoted The Rock. Why The Rock didn't show up after what some saw as hints the People's Champion was going to show up. Where was The Rock? The 2021 Survivor Series was a milestone event, not only because it saw Randy Orton break the record for the most pay-per-view appearances by a WWE superstar, but it marked the 25th anniversary of The Rock's debut at the 1996 Survivor Series. The WWE not only hyped The Rock's anniversary with several video flashbacks to The Rock's greatest moments, but it also promoted The Rock's upcoming film Red Notice, leaving some fans to think the most electrifying man in sports entertainment might make an appearance at the event. The WWE even had Mr. McMahon show up and mention The Rock's accomplishments to his cousin Roman Reigns, a hint that the two might meet up in the near future. Ultimately, The Rock didn't show up, and while WWE never promised an appearance, some fans were still disappointed. Apparently, there was no way of The Rock showing up in the Big Apple. During a recent episode of Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer explained why The Rock wasn't at Survivor Series. Dwayne's out of the country and he can't come back. They're doing a movie and he can't go back and forth because of quarantine. There was no way he could be at the show tonight. The WWE is wise in leaving the door open for a return by The Rock. The Great One hasn't ruled out a return, stating he would do so under the right conditions, one of them obviously being that it fits into his hectic Hollywood schedule. There's little doubt the WWE would like to book a dream match between The Rock and Roman Reigns, something which has been talked about for several years, but the promotion shouldn't tease fans with a match that has so many factors impeding it from happening. Do you think the WWE promised the fans something it wasn't going to deliver at Survivor Series, i.e. The Rock? Or did the promotion handle things properly? Let us know in the comments below. Backstage Chaos at Survivor Series? Reports are coming in from PW Insider that last night's Survivor Series had some logistical problems, with the news site reporting there was a minor freakout backstage over difficulties finishing the show on time. Wrestling Inc.'s Mark Middleton also noted, the pay-per-view was scheduled to go off the air no later than 11.35 p.m. Eastern and still had the main event match to go. WWE ended up with several minutes left, but in that moment, when there was concern backstage, there were people wondering why so much time was given to entrances for the men's 5-on-5 traditional elimination match. The men's elimination match wasn't the only event to feature a number of entrances. The 25-man battle royal featured several entrances, an unnecessary move since not every superstar received one. The WWE's pre-show fared no better as it shortchanged the time for the Damian Priest vs. Shinsuke Nakamura match, about which could and should have spotlighted two of the WWE's best workers. This year's Survivor Series was noticeable for the lack of promotion for many of the show's matches, a surprising situation for fans accustomed to big build-ups for one of the WWE's big four pay-per-views. Looking at the lack of promotion and the reported confusion about WWE's struggle to end the show on time suggests WWE didn't plan the pay-per-view out all that well. Do you agree with WrestleMania? Or do you think the show went well? Mr. McMahon returns, but why? Fans haven't seen Vince McMahon on WWE TV in any major role in some time, so what was the chairman doing on Survivor Series, and why will he be on the 22nd November Raw? Vince has made a handful of cameo appearances such as at WrestleMania 37 and the WWE's first show after the Thunderdome era, but now it appears Vince will play a part in a storyline. In case you missed it, Vinnie Mac returned to the WWE at Survivor Series carrying a golden egg. What was so special about the golden egg, you ask? Turns out the jeweled egg was part of the WWE's heavy promotion for The Rock's film Red Notice, which involves the search for one of three valuable gems given to Cleopatra. Thankfully, the egg had nothing to do with the gobbledygooker egg fiasco from the 1990 Survivor Series, but in hindsight, it was still a dud. 
As detailed in our video recap and analysis of Survivor Series, McMahon boasted to Roman Reigns that The Rock gave him the real egg rather than a movie prop and that it was worth $100 million. Roman quipped his next WWE contract would be for a likewise sum. However, McMahon realized his precious keepsake was missing during a segment involving Adam Pearce and Sonya Deville. McMahon immediately embarked on a search for the missing egg, telling Pearce and Deville he would continue his investigation on the 22nd November Raw, which will reportedly feature the members of both the Raw and SmackDown rosters. While this storyline is no goofier than many others in WWE history, the fans are curious why Vince is back on WWE TV. According to Diamond Dave Meltzer, Tomorrow it's Indiana Jones. Let's find out. You know, like it's sometimes these things flop and sometimes these things work. It's a gimmick to get a rating and do product placement for Rock's movie also. It's to get a rating. It's to get Vince. Whether you love him or hate him, there's no denying WWE kingpin Vince McMahon was the driving force in the promotion's success. Nonetheless, it looks like Vince is hoping to work some of that old McMahon magic by returning to WWE programming. As Meltzer observed, We'll see what Vince means on television. He hasn't been on TV a lot lately. He hasn't been on TV in a long time. Now he's back and, you know, they make it a big deal. It wasn't like, oh, Vince is there. It'll be interesting to see whether or not Vince McMahon helps pop the ratings for Raw. Do you think Vince should return as a character? Let us know in the comments below. Brock Lesnar's suspension lifted? Last night's Survivor Series featured several storylines moving forward, including Brock Lesnar's indefinite suspension from the WWE. WWE interviewer Kayla Braxton asked Paul Heyman about his thoughts on the rumors of Brock Lesnar's suspension no longer being indefinite, a question which seemed to irritate Lesnar's former advocate. Now, there's more speculation that authority figure Adam Pearce will be lifting the suspension. While that hasn't been confirmed, it would build interest in the rumors that Brock Lesnar is going to buy a front row ticket for the 10th December SmackDown in Los Angeles. Dave Meltzer discussed this recently. Lesnar will be returning on the 1210 SmackDown in Los Angeles. The idea is he's going to buy a ringside ticket. The show is a major one because they are running the show in that city largely for Fox executives to get a major Fox show in Fox's home base. Lesnar is obviously one of the key people they're interested in, and it'll likely be the start to build Lesnar for the Rumble show. The WWE may want to announce that Lesnar is no longer suspended in order to create suspense about when and where the Beast Incarnate could show up. Vince McMahon's Apology to Zelina Vega Over 9-11 Match Zelina Vega lost her father during the events of 11th September 2001. So when she had the chance to wrestle in her hometown of New York City on the 20th anniversary of the terror attack, she felt honored. Unfortunately, the match was cut at the last moment, leading fans to blast the WWE, with some accusing the company of intentionally cutting the match in order to slight Vega. Now Queen Zelina is setting the record straight. Vega recently spoke with TalkSport's Alex McCarthy, explaining, A lot of people were really upset, but I felt like a lot of the anger was misguided. I was disappointed, but I also knew it wasn't a personal thing. If you knew, and obviously a lot of the fans don't know that the show goes in an order, the way that it went time-wise, it got too close and they had to cut it. Vega explained that Vince McMahon reached out to her. When it got cut, Vince called me and apologized because he wanted to make sure that I knew, listen, this wasn't done to you personally or anything, it was literally just the time. I had to make that call and I'm so sorry, and people don't know that side either. To have a boss to care enough to call you and go, look, I'm sorry, that's important. What do you think of Mr. McMahon reaching out to Vega? Adam Cole at Survivor Series? Last but not least, the WWE Universe can be vocal in its displeasure when WWE lets one of their favorite wrestlers get away, as seen by the reports of Adam Cole chants during the Survivor Series pre-show. PW Insider reports that fans at the Barclays Center were chanting the former NXT champion's name. Fans have to wonder whether Cole would have been on the main roster by now had he not left the WWE for AEW. Well guys, there you have it, the biggest wrestling news stories and rumors making the rounds. What do you think of these stories and rumors? Be sure to leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll see you next time for some more wrestling content.